Dr. Glenn, thanks for being with us. Let's talk about this phase one human trial that's supposed to begin in mid-May. What does it involve? How many people does it involve? And what exactly will you be looking for? Okay, so that's a good, those are good questions. Maybe I can start from the beginning. We are a uh, modern vaccine company, so we use the best tools you know, to, available. I think the world's biotech and research industry in the terms of infectious disease is very strong. So we know uh, that the spike protein, as you recall, the, the virus has these spikes. They use the spike to actually attach to a human receptor, something like a spacecraft in a uh, you know, going out to the European Space Station. And so those are, those are very important activities to try to block. So we make a spike protein vaccine. Hopefully we can block that, uh, that receptor uh, binding activity and prevent infection. So, so what we uh, are doing in the phase one trial is trying to replicate what we just did in animals. So this, this week we are able to announce that we've selected a vaccine, we've engineered the vaccine, and when we immunize an animal, we make a neutralizing antibody. And that would be our goal, to show that we make neutralizing antibodies in humans. And how many people will that involve? So that'll be uh, in 130 subjects, uh, be set five groups, essentially. And uh, you know, so we'll test a few different dose regimens. And of course, it'll be placebo controlled. So to establish safety and immunogenicity, and the beauty of early vaccine trials because we know that functional immunity is important, it's often predictive, predictive of what you'll see in human trials as both immunogenicity, immune responses, as well as, as what could be protective. So, so we're Dr. quite, go ahead. Uh, apologies for interrupting you. We have a short amount of time and I just wanna make sure we get all the answers we need. So when do you expect the preliminary results from this phase one human trial that begins in mid-May? Yep, it should be in July in July. And Dr. Fauci has said getting a vaccine to the public is going to take a year, maybe even more, a year and a half. If everything goes perfectly, Dr. Glenn, what is the earliest your vaccine could be given to the general population? Well, the way to describe that is what's next. So we do the phase one trial. We see what we want to see in terms of immune responses. That The, the WHO, with the cooperation from all the nations, China, et cetera, are all talking about how to test for efficacy. And so that could be a very compressed kind of trial, maybe done in the fall, maybe we have the result, say, in December, and that might allow our regulatory authorities, such as the FDA or the European Medicines Authority, to approve the use of the vaccine. So that could be that, if that result comes in the you know, end of the year, uh, then one could imagine deploying the vaccine shortly thereafter. But Dr. Glenn, there's also issues like side effects, making sure this in fact is safe and the side effects are manageable. Yeah, so that would, that's what the, the, that's the whole concept of a randomized placebo controlled trial. So that can be done in a phase 2B setting. So the nice, the, I'd say the asset we bring to the table is we have very advanced programs. So we have a platform technology from the standpoint of the immune system and safety our vaccine looks just like our other vaccines we've already tested in many people. So we bring that to bear on the problem, our past experience with the platform technology. And how long will you be monitoring, um, um, you know, side effects for? Well, so, you know, there's, there's a couple things to be concerned about. The, the, you know, usually when you have an injection of a vaccine, there's a sore arm and a few things like that. We know that very well. So the other piece is how does it work out, out in the field? And so we would certainly monitor them for the time they're exposed, uh, you know, and so, but the, the real question will be if they get exposed, do they get an immune response that's protective? And you can see that in a very short period of time. Generally speaking, we follow them up for a year, um, you know, make sure that, you know, there isn't anything out, you know, far out that's different. And that's kind of, that's, you know, standard, you know, standard practice in the vaccine. But I think the essential information would be collected around the time of exposure, which should be in the first you know, few months of a trial. And Dr. Glenn, very quickly, if you could just tell me where companies like yourself, where do you get the funding from for this kind of research? That's a good question. So right now it's from, uh, so philanthropy, as you probably know, uh, there's been a number of donations, the Gates Foundation, Wellcome Trust, they're supporting the early development of these vaccines. I think we expect that the U.S. government will step up shortly uh, and they'll be funding some of the work as well. All right, we'll have to leave it there and wish you the best of luck, Dr. Okay, Gregory thanks for your interest. Glenn.